Welcome back guys. I got some familiar hardware here that uh, some of you have seen before. Well, most of it. Uh, I don't think I've ever done a video with the GPU, but here's our uh, 990FX board with an AMD FX 8350. It's running at 4 gigahertz and it's cooled by a 240 millimeter AIO. We also have 8 gigs of DDR3 at 1866 and the GPU that we're using is Radeon HD 7790 with 2 gigs of DDR5. It's a DX12 capable card, but as you'll see, that won't be relevant today. And our OS is installed on a 256 gigabyte SSD. What is installed, you may wonder? Well, that's right. We're running Windows XP Pro 64-bit on this hardware. Well, technically, it's an XP-themed Server 2003 64-bit build. Uh, we can use it just the same as standard Windows XP. And since it's based off of Server 2003 and shares the same service packs, there are only two, so we're going to be running on Service Pack 2. Installation was very easy and it was very, very fast. It only took a couple minutes to install it on the SSD. Here you can see the time countdown quickly and see that the video is not sped up at all. Honestly, I don't know how we all used to live without solid state storage. I really, really don't. And after installing it, booted right to the desktop, missing some drivers, of course, but drivers were actually pretty easy to find. They were all available and worked, with the exception of the video driver. That one did take a little while. AMD had drivers for XP64 for this GPU on their support page, but most of them wouldn't install. I tried quite a few going backwards, and I finally got Catalyst 12.8 to install with a working driver and a Catalyst control center. Once all the drivers have been installed, you can see that XP does show and utilize 8 cores of a CPU. In games it will be different since most DX9 games are written to utilize only one core, but in Windows Tasks and other software, having 8 cores is pretty nice. So let's kick this off and see how we perform in some benchmarks and games. Starting off with 3 Mark 2001, we got a score of 46,440 points. Following that up with 3D Mark 03, we scored 77,448 points. And in 3D Mark 05, we got a score of 23,841. And finally, in 3D Mark 06, we got a score of 20,600 points. The games we're going to look at, uh, we're going to be starting from the oldest to the newest, and we're going to kick that off with Unreal Gold from 1999. Afterburner will not display an overlay for DX8, but at 1080p with the settings as high as they can go, I'm pretty sure we're hitting whatever the uh, FPS cap is. But it is running great and with no issues. Next up is Return to Castle Wolfenstein from 2001, and at 1080p with the highest settings, as expected, the average FPS is uh, the same as the cap of 91. Battlefield 1942 from 2002 at 1080p with high settings as high as they can possibly go. The average FPS was 229, and it ran with no issues at all. Moving on to 2004, we have Far Cry, and at 1080p, very high settings with 8xAF and 8xAA, we averaged 140 FPS. Also from 2004, probably the main reason so many people have Windows XP gaming PCs, is Half-Life 2. 1080p with settings at very high, 16xAF and 8xMSAA, we averaged 279 FPS. Moving on to 2005, we have Fear. 
game game benchmark and at 1080p very high settings with 16 af and 4x fsaa with soft shadows on uh, we managed to average 137 fps and pretty much maxed out one core and the gpu for the entire run Hitman Blood Money from 2006 also ran well at 1080p with very high settings. With 16x AF and 8x AA, the average FPS was 119. And Crisis is tough no matter what, but I always preferred the DX10 option with Vista. But at 1080p, high preset with 8xAA, we did average 39 FPS. I still think that's crazy what it takes to run Crisis well, even today. So even though we're past the XP years, uh, we haven't caught up to our hardware yet, so let's keep going. Far Cry 2 came out in 2008, and the in-game benchmark at high settings is also pretty demanding. At 1080p ultra high preset, 8x AF and 8x AA, we only managed an average of 40 FPS, but turning off AA, we could then get our average over 60. And finally, a DX9 title from 2012 that can also be pretty tough to run on high. We got Alan Wake's American Nightmare in a 1080p high settings with 8x AF, 4x AA, and FX AA set to high. We only averaged 33 FPS, but it was still quite playable. With no AA and FX AA off, we were able to bump that up to 59, so that was quite an improvement just by disabling AA. So normally, I try to get on the internet with XP on much older hardware, and uh, it just can't do much. But I wanted to see how it was with something a little newer. Using Firefox 52.9 ESR, it's the last Firefox that you can actually run on XP, uh, the internet was a breeze. I could open pretty much any web page I wanted, even surf and play YouTube videos up to 4K, as you can see here, with no problem. I checked out eBay and Amazon, I had no issues at all, and I'm not suggesting that you use XP for that, I'm just stating that it can be done. So I'm going to leave this set up for a little while, and if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I mean, would you like to see a Phenom 2 for comparison or a different GPU? I don't know. Maybe someone will have a good idea that I can pull off for the next time. So I thought that was pretty interesting, and I hope you guys did too. You guys take care, and I will see you on the next one.